Okay, today we're doing a bunch of mixed vegetables. Uh, typically, uh, most cowboys just call this green stuff. What I've got here is, in this pot here, I just got some water. I'm going to salt this water heavy and bring it up to a boil. And then, uh, after I get this water boiling, I'm going to blanch my vegetables just for a couple of minutes. And uh, uh, just as soon as I get them uh, kind of semi-cooked, I'll pull them off and I'll blanch uh, some different vegetables in the same water. And what that does is, is it helps me to get everything cooked uh, evenly uh, throughout. So anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, get over here and find some salt. Now this is uh, not a typical wok, this is a homemade wok that I made myself a lot slower and just works a lot better for the kind of cooking that we do. Uh, one thing about us cowboys is we're not, uh, it don't bother us a bit to borrow from other cultures. And uh, the, the Chinese has been doing this for a very long time and been very successful. And even back uh, uh, during the cattle drive days, the, what everybody did was is they just took what they had and made something to go do a cattle drive. They just took, the, took advantage of whatever it was that they had. They, uh, they, were, they were broke, they didn't have a whole lot of money, and uh, they were trying to put this stuff together on a, on a shoestring. So when they got started, that's exactly what they did. And my wagon here, this, uh, this is an actual wagon we draw it by horses, but I can actually hook it up to a vehicle because it's a rubber tired wagon and, and, uh, and pull it wherever I want to go. But when I get to where the road pretty much ends, I can hook up in the horse it and go wherever I want to go. Now, the same thing, uh, it doesn't bother us a bit uh, to, to borrow from one culture or the other. We, uh, uh, we love the the Chinese and a lot of their Chinese uh, methods and Latin uh, methods and cooking uh, things. So uh, what I'm doing here is just kind of a, a blend of things, uh, but it works best for us. So what I'm doing here is, is I'm gonna add some salt. Now, as you can see, I'm adding a lot of salt. Uh, there's quite a bit of water in here. I'd say there's about uh, eight quarts of water in here. And to be honest with you, I'm not used to cooking on this scale. I'm used to cooking on a whole lot larger scale, so kind of bear with me a little bit as I, uh, as I work through this. I've kind of got things scattered out here a little bit, so. Okay, what I just did was, is I just added some oil to this, uh, to this wok. I'm not really gonna start heating it up just yet. I'm gonna get a little bit of a head start uh, on these vegetables here by, uh, uh, throwing them in this bowl of water and kind of uh, just getting a getting a quick start on them. I'm going to get them about half cooked, and then I'm going to pull them out. Uh, 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 I believe the term is called blanching. I'm going to blanch them, and then I'm going to pull them out, and then I'll stir fry them. So I'm not adding any meat to these, but uh, one of the things I I, I have done is just just fry chicken thighs and uh, once I get those chicken I use boneless skinless chicken thighs and I bread them and fry them just like I'm doing chicken and then I cut them up into uh, pieces and then I'll uh, I'll add them uh, you know right out of the ice chest into the uh, hot skillet and uh, let the vegetables warm them up okay while I'm while I'm waiting uh, on that pot to come to a boil you know what they say a watch pot never boils so I'm going to get busy doing some other things and hopefully in the meantime this pot's going to boil. I'm going to go ahead and start peeling some carrots. I've got some carrots over here I'm going to do in a different dish here in just a little while. Now the carrots I'm not going to stir fry. I will fry them but they, are, uh, they won't be stir fried. As you can see I'm not taking a whole lot of care to get these exactly even. I like them being a little bit of a different texture. So if some of them are thicker and some of them are smaller, some of them will be uh, cooked a little bit more than others. That's exactly what I'm going for.
I added a little bit of garlic there to that. Now what I'll do, I got a skillet over here. Just taking a cold skillet. I'm gonna add some oil to it. I always, almost always use peanut oil. There are situations that I don't, but as a general rule, I always try to uh, use peanut oil. I like peanut oil because it's high heat. I understand that some people have allergies and can't use it. Uh, and when I find myself in one of those situations, I try to use something like sapphire oil or grapeseed oil or uh, something uh, along those lines that's a higher heat uh, oil. Now I'll try to show you in a second what I'm doing here. I'm trying to arrange these things the best I can in one in one layer. And as you as you can see, they're uh, uh, you know they're they're different thicknesses and sizes and and whatever. Now I've put a little bit of I've put a little bit of uh, garlic in there with it, and I'm just going to salt it just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Not a lot, but just a little. And then I'll put a lid on it. And let's see. I think I can go ahead and get started doing that while I'm waiting on that water to come up to a boil. Now what these what these will do is the water that I put in there are, will come up to a boil. And by the time that water cooks out, the carrots will be completely done. But the oil that I put in there in the bottom of it will cause those carrots to brown on one side. So you'll get some caramelization and it really sweetens them up and adds a whole lot of flavor to it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut a little bit of another onion here uh, and add some onion to that. Uh, my wife will tell you that the first thing I do is reach for an onion. I got a trash bowl up here. Now, uh, so many of the guys try to go traditional ways and they've got uh, something in the back here they call a chuck box that they put their implements and food and, and stuff like that in. Well, I don't do that because I need access to the rest of the wagon. So I've got this box here that uh, I can move around, uh, which works out a whole lot easier for me. And besides that, I can throw that in my van or my pickup and go do a tailgate somewhere. Uh, and I've got all my stuff with me wherever I go. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and chop this onion. I've halved it and I've peeled it. I'm gonna cut it uh, from side to side one time, and then I'm just gonna run through it real quick. All right, now I'm just gonna add that straight to my pot here. And I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I think I'm gonna add one more thing to it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a, uh, a bell pepper to it. Now I'll use the bulk of this bell pepper in my stir fry, but my ends are kind of ugly. So I'm just gonna chop these ends up real quick. Throw them in this pot. And we're gonna throw the lid back on and a little bit more salt. Excuse my back. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just listening for that pot at this point in time. It's gonna tell me, I can listen to it and that'll tell me when them carrots begin to fry. Now once those carrots begin to fry, it's gonna be about three minutes before they're browned. So because I've kind of got them uh, cut irregular, the larger ones I'll check and I want them just kind of tender crisp. They'll, uh, they'll continue cooking a little bit more uh, uh, once I uh, 
pull them out of the pan. Okay, now, a little bit, I'm gonna add just a little bit of uh, uh, ancho chili flakes. These aren't, these aren't real spicy, but it will add quite a bit of flavor to it. And I've got some dried parsley here, but I prefer the cilantro. So uh, when I cook, I mainly I, I cook the way I like to eat. So I'm gonna add a little cilantro to it. Okay, now I got a bell pepper here. I'm just gonna slice this bell pepper up. in kind of bite-sized pieces. As you can see, I, uh, I don't take a lot of time trying to get things uh, uh, exactly the same. I like things being different. I just like things being different. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna add this to my stir fry here in just a little bit. As soon as I All right, what I got here is I've got some cut up green peppers, okay? And I want them to kind of stay tender crisp. And also my, uh, my onion uh, that I have here, I want it to kind of stay tender crisp too. So I'm just gonna put those two together, uh, blanch some vegetables. Now I'm using this bowl here as a trash bowl. And once you uh, uh, top and tail an onion, they're really easy to peel. So I got a little bit of a bad spot on that onion. I'm just gonna trim that off. Now, everybody does this different. Uh, some people want a fine dice, coarse dice. 90% of the time on a stir fry, I just want them sliced from pole to pole. And they'll, they'll uh, break up uh, uh, real nice in the, in the stir fry. And they're, uh, they, they look good in the, in the, in the stir fry. Boy, I love those vegetable cleavers. They're just great for that kind of thing. Okay, now I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prep some garlic here and get that ready uh, too. Now, uh, my, uh, my favorite way to do garlic and this uh, uh, a vegetable cleaver helps with that as well. I'm just gonna, the, uh, the ends on this uh, garlic uh, need to be trimmed off. So I'm just gonna take a second to trim the ends off. And if you ask me, most people spend too much time uh, fussing with garlic. Garlic is just not that fussy. Uh, I see them mincing it, and mincing it, and mincing it, and mincing it. Well, you just don't have to do that. You take a vegetable cleaver, set it right on top, Give it a good old fashioned press. And there you have it, minced garlic. And if you want to take it a little bit further, you can, you can repeat that. You can give it another crush. And then mince it a little more. Okay. Now, not everybody peels their carrots. Okay, you can take a Scotch-Brite and just rub that Scotch-Brite on it, and it'll just take that absolute outer layer off and cleans the carrot really well, as, as you can see here. You know, the carrot is, is clean, but I like to peel them, okay? And uh, uh, the uh, main reason that I like to peel them is because there's a, there's a slight bitterness to the skin of the carrots, and I really like to uh, remove that because I, I want my carrots to be sweet, I want them to be fresh. The fresher they are, the sweeter they are, 
uh, and I just enjoy them more. And I think they look better. Now, to be honest with you, most of the cowboys that I'm cooking for, they do not care. They, they work hard. They, they, uh, I want to give them a really, really good meal uh, and lots of it because that's what they primarily care about. Good food, lots of it. In, a, in, a, in the future, I'm going to show you guys how to cook uh, with uh, uh, large pots and, and, uh, and that kind of stuff. But for right now, I can smell my carrots. Woo, doggies. I'm gonna set these right here. You see that? I got them a little too done. They are delicious. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there. Turn this way down. I just want that pot to heat up a little bit. All right, now I'm going to blanch these vegetables. I've got a mixed bag here. It's broccoli and carrots and cauliflower. They're calling it a broccoli medley. I'll give that just a couple of minutes. See how bright and green they are? Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take them straight out of this pot here. and just drop them right into here. All right, now I'm gonna reach over here and get a little bit of pepper. Little bit of salt. Now, I'm gonna do something here. It's gonna surprise some of you maybe a little bit. But I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to this. Now I want those to steam just a little bit here. So I'm gonna drop this bowl in on top of them so they'll steam a little bit. And in about two minutes, uh, I'm gonna add my uh, garlic and bell pepper and onions to them. I'm going to go ahead and blanch these uh, green beans real quick since that water's up and boiling real good. And it's about time for me to add these.
to my pot. I'm going to give that a quick spin. Add a little bit of cilantro to that. And a little bit of ancho chili pepper. Just give that just enough time to warm through. And we'll be good to go. I believe these green beans is probably done enough. So let's go ahead and pull them out. Ooh, look how pretty and bright and green they are. And I even got a, uh, an extra carrot. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull this water off, uh, but I'm not going to throw it away. It's a good vegetable stock at this point in time. It's good and salty, and I can use that for a lot of different things. And at the same time, I think my stir fry over here is about to get done. Yep. So, I'm gonna handle this twice. I'm gonna step over here where you can see me. I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna put it back in the bowl. And then I'm going to put it in the platter. And there we have it. That's a uh, 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 broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, onion, and garlic stir fry. I'm going to add some of this garlic. this onion to it. Put a little pepper on it. Add a little bit of salt.
And in about one minute, we'll be ready to eat. And there we go.